Hi everyone, Richard here. Welcome back to the channel. And today we are going to be looking at a third party app that enables you to make photo books straight from Lightroom. So let's have a look at that now. So hi there everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, thanks for joining us. And if you're not sure what this channel is really all about, it's mainly about travel and a little bit of photography every now and again, like today, when I'm gonna be talking about how you get a good way of getting your, hopefully a good way of getting your photos out of the computer and on a book in front of you. More on that in a second. Uh, so welcome and don't forget if you do, if that is something you're interested in, hit the subscribe button and we'll see you back here again for the next video. But if you don't wanna check it out first, then let's get on with the today's video. Today's video is, I was contacted by a company called Presto Photo who have an app that syncs to Lightroom where you can build photo books without exporting images from Lightroom like you might have to do with Vistaprint or one of these other photo building books. Um, that really intrigued me and they offered to uh, give me a free evaluation copy. So this video is not sponsored in any way at all. I'm not being paid for this. These are my 100% own views. Um, but like I said, they are gonna give me a code to give me a discount on a book at the end of it for my troubles. They're that confident, I guess, in their product. So I haven't seen the finished product yet. I don't know if it's gonna be great or rubbish, but you will see a copy of this at the end, the same time that I do at the end of this video. So stay tuned for that. And that's it, I'm learning as I go. I'll jump in and out of the video um, as I learn things. Um, and uh, let's crack on. It's gonna be filmed over a couple of days. So um, as I get the time to do it, so don't, be surprised if I'm the lights different or if I'm wearing a different jumper or something. Uh, that's it. Let's crack in. We'll have a look at the screen now and see what it's all about. So the first thing we need to do is go to the app store, search for Presto Photo, and when you find the app, just hit get and get that downloaded to your computer. Once that's done, click on open and we do not want to create a PDF photo book. So ignore the one on the right. We are going to click the one on the left to create a photo book with Apple Photos and Apple Lightroom. We'll then open Apple Photos and you just need to click on file, create book and pick the Presto Photo app. Pick the type of book you want. I'm going to go for landscape and the size is going to be 13 by 11. So along the bottom here, you can see some thumbnails of book types. They're just suggestions uh, that you could go into depending on which ones you want. And if you click on one, you will see the type of or the style of page change and you can choose which one of these is best for you. Once you've decided in the top right hand corner here, you can choose the number of pages and the average number of images per page. And the system or the app will give you that number of pages with that many photos per page. And when you've decided, all you have to do is click on Create Template. Okay, so that will give you a, um, a starting point for your photos. And the screen is really made up of um, three kind of, um, so four, should we say four distinct areas. Down the left hand side here you have the uh, photo, the blank pages that will um, populate as you add photos into the template. This big area here is what the shows you the page that you're working on. So as you click around down the left hand side, this page will change accordingly. Along the bottom you have the link to your Lightroom library, which I'll show you how to do that in a moment, and all of the images will be appear in here and across the top you have the let's say the edit section where you can edit the layout you can add images titles subtitles and everything to your page you can add new pages and things like that um, and i'm going to go through those in a little bit more detail over the next few minutes The next thing we are going to do before we can start building this photo book is we need to make sure we can access the Lightroom photos in the app. So we are now going to set about getting the images from Lightroom Classic into this thumbnail strip at the bottom, but it does have to come via Lightroom Cloud. So the first thing that we need to do is head into Lightroom Classic. 
you need to set up a collection down under the collection options here. So I've set up one called USA Photo Book. It's synced to my Lightroom Creative Cloud account and I've got 111 photos that I've chosen to add to this photo book. That then should integrate through to Lightroom or Lightroom Creative Cloud or whatever you choose to call it now. So you can see here we have 111 photos in Lightroom in the cloud. So going back to Apple Photos and the Photos app, we then just need to authorize the app to uh, import those photos or to show those photos in this little window down here. So we click on the add sign here and we are going to use Lightroom Cloud. We are then going to sign into your Adobe account, which I'll just speed through this real quick. And there we have it. We are now signed into Lightroom Cloud and we can see the images that are in my cloud that are going to come through to the app. So I want to use the album called USA Photo Book and it now shows along the bottom all of my images that are in the collection for USA Photo Book that started in Lightroom Classic, synced through to Lightroom Cloud and then when that was authorised with the app they are now showing in the uh, Presto Photos app within Apple Photos. So I've exported nothing from Lightroom, I've taken no photos out of Lightroom, all I've done is created the collection set to get them through to Lightroom Cloud. So that is one really good benefit that means you don't have to keep exporting photos and importing them into a, another program to build your photo book. So now we're going to have a quick look at how we can drop those in and rearrange the page layout to get the photo book that you like. So it's now it's time to start putting some images into the page layouts. I like my books or my photo books to be um, to tell a story so and then have a heading. So if I if we move on to another place on our road trip, for example, I want to have a new heading for for that section of the um, of the journey. So these first three images are uh, of the journey to America. So we haven't actually started the road trip yet. We've got the plane, we've got the pickup of the car hire, and we've got an exhausted Max um, after a long journey that crashed out in the first hotel room. So that's going to be the first page. Um, so I want my first page template to have three pages. So I can either go down to this box here and I can pick which three, I can pick that it has three images per page and then I can scroll through and pick which photo I would like or which layout I would like to use. Okay, so let's pretend that I want this one here and I, if, if I'm happy with that layout, I just click apply and it puts the three photo, it, it applies that template to that page and then I would just drop the images in. Let's pretend for this instance that I don't want that. So I've shown you how you can change it using the their templates. If you don't want to use their templates, you can click on this button in the top right hand corner, edit layout, and then we are then going to click on each of the photo templates or the photo frames and then press delete to remove them from the page. So we've now got a blank page and I am going to add an image myself. So let's say I just want to put that one there and let's say that I want them all to be that size. We can just duplicate it and drag that one there and then duplicate it again and drag that one there. I'm doing this really quickly. I would spend a little bit more time on this. So we've dragged that one in, we've dragged that one in, and we've dragged that one in. Okay, so it does seem to take um, a few seconds to update, but once you've got them in there, if you click on the unplaced 
button it should just show you the images that are on place now these haven't disappeared which they should but I'm quite confident that they will disappear it just seems to be a bit there we go they've gone now so it does take a few seconds to sort of register that they've been placed now there is a um, a low resolution warning here which means that one of these photos has got is too low a resolution for the box in other words it may not print properly so I'm just going to quickly show you now how to fix that should you get one of these warnings I have just put one big image in um, just to try and demonstrate the problems that you have with um, the resolution of the image and how to fix it. So if I'm syncing from Lightroom Classic to Lightroom Cloud, which is then syncing into the Presto Photo app, the size is limited to the resolution that you can see down here, 2560 by 1706. So what we need to do is copy the original into Lightroom Creative Cloud, I keep saying Creative Cloud because it's not classic, the original is in classic. We now need to get that original into the cloud so that the full resolution then syncs back through to this app. It's really simple how you do it. Make sure that you've got Creative Cloud or Lightroom open. Go into Lightroom Classic, find the image that you want, right mouse click on it, show in Finder. That will then show you the image that you're copying and then make sure you just want to drag that image into Lightroom. It's there, we want to add one photo and that has now been added. There's still 111 photos in there so it doesn't add another photo, it just overwrites the one that's in there. It will apply all the, um, all the adjustments that you've made. If you head back to the Photos app we can still see it is the small resolution but we just have to resync it um, and you can either do that I, I normally click on both just to resync I'm not 100% sure which one works but you've got a little sync cloud here click on that and also a, a sync cloud here click on that then click on the picture itself remove it from the folder remove it from the window from the template and when you click back on it down here, you can see that the image has increased up to the full size image. You can then drag that onto your page. It is now plenty big enough. And after a while, this placeholder warning will disappear. Let's give it a refresh. Not quite sure why it does take so long sometimes for these warnings to go because there's obviously an image in there. Um, let's click into page three. Uh, let's click into a different page and then click back to page two. Yeah, so it just it does seem to take a while to update. But it's now updated, the warning's gone. It's still showing down here, even though that image has been placed. Um, so there are a couple of these little buggy things that we need to put up with for the time being. But eventually, that image should disappear and end up being hidden. Although, I don't know why it's taking as long as it is. So, yeah, I mean... It's hidden the other ones. Why it's not hiding this one, I don't know, but I'm sure that it should do at some point. Okay, so we've now, there's very quick, um, what was that, 10 minutes or so, I think, of downloading, installing the app and uh, syncing it up with Lightroom and how to change the page layouts and also how to uh, fix low resolution images. Um, there's a couple more things that I'm going to show you. The first one is how to set up your um, a page from from scratch, and how to export it into the Presto Photos website so you can then place your order um, to have the book delivered. So back into the computer, and we'll do that now. To the app 
here we have um, I've got this nice panorama here of Yosemite that I want to spread over one big page or, or two page spread so um, I don't have the option at the moment down here of a two of a two page spread okay so work out where you want the spread to go you come up to the top left hand corner you insert a spread page that will give you one massive wide page you're just going to make that a bit smaller so if you don't quite want it full size spread like this so it comes from top to bottom um, left to right you can edit layout you can delete that placeholder you can add your own image and then you just need to drag it to the size that you want that you think will be suitable for the image and of course you can always play around with it afterwards uh, let's make that a bit deeper and let's just make sure it is centered everywhere and then it's just a case of dragging the image in and there it is there's a nice big page um, a nice big page spread and we can see that's over two pages now so this is the one page if you click on there the image is gone we okay so now it's appeared there I don't know why it takes so long but there we go um, so that's now done so we have now a two page spread um, and it will just be a case of moving it around to make sure you're happy with where it's placed okay so I've spent a bit of time um, putting all my pictures in fiddling around with it um, I'm going to do a quick summary at the end after I've shown you this bit of a few things I really like and a couple of buggy bits that I'm hoping will be fixed um, over time uh, I think I may be one of the I don't know if I am one of the early people to really dive into this but um, I feel like I'm doing a bit of a test as well as a as a demonstration but nevertheless the book is finished before you um, export it you can preview it and this is a feature that I do like it means you can see the book in all its glory so if you come up to the top right hand corner here there's this little book symbol I think last time I checked that did actually have a preview button but it's been changed to this book symbol here if we click on there it will open the um, oh I didn't mean to do that oh, sorry okay let's try that again so it will open the book in uh, more of a a full screen so I've gone totally full screen now um, there's these two little arrows on the right and the left hand side where you can thumb through the book itself so this is the front cover this is the back cover we turn over so that's inside the front cover and so on we can just flick through the book you can give it a sense check you can check spelling um, you can go through and make sure that the pictures look great and they're in the order that you want them in and just get a sense of how the finished book is going to look this is excuse me this is really good to see because it means you can really take a step back and and have a look at, at everything now so we're just going to flick through I'm um, I think I've checked through this once already and I'm pretty happy with it uh, I'm just going to shrink the shrink it back down again and once you're happy with it you have to make sure that you are logged in to your account and this sign in that you have here should also match with the account that you have on the Presto Photo website once you're happy with that or once you're you, you, you know they're both logged into the same account you click on buy now uh, I'm signing in this is all live so let's hope it works and we should click on upload And we can see here now that the book is uploading
and once that is uploaded if you go back to the website and you click on your projects you will see the photo book come into your account on the Presto Photo website and it's then just a case of clicking on it, buy now and it will take you through these options here where you can pick the um, options that you want and place your order. Okay, so that's the book built and exported to the website and then um, you can choose the options that you want once you're out there. I just wanna do a quick summary now of the things that I did like and a couple of things that, um, that you've seen already that I'm sure will be addressed and, and um, it'd be interesting to see what other people's um, experiences are. So if you've used this app um, or you've given it a go and you, even if you haven't ordered drop me a comment down below and let me know what you think because uh, you never know if it's your computer player doing funny things or if it's the app itself um, so let me just go through the things that I like first I love the way that it just picks everything up from Lightroom so there's no exporting if you're using other companies that you normally have to export the photos um, and then import them into their book builder or upload them to their website and it's all done through a browser window and things like that. Whereas this is standalone on your computer, although it's integrated with Apple Photos, it syncs straight through to Lightroom um, and there's no exporting, you're just using it straight from your catalog, which I love. Um, there are a lot of layouts to choose from in that little window that I showed you in the bottom right hand corner where you can pick the number of pages and which layout you want. A couple of times I was, um, when I was building the whole book, I wasn't 100% sure what layout to do. Looking at that, if it didn't solve the problem, it certainly gave you a little bit of um, inspiration as to what you could do or a few ideas. So that's really, really good. Uh, one thing I didn't show you when I was building it that I'll quickly show you now is there is a, you can see the page number that each picture has gone on. So if you look at the bottom here, you can see um, the any given image has a page number and you can see that that page has been used or well, that image has been used on that page number of your book. So you can then, you can work, okay, where did I use this image? Oh, it's on page four. So we can go to page four, click on page four, and you'll see the image there that you've used. So that's really useful in case you wanted to move photos around or track that photo back really quickly. Um, and it's easy, you could easily add extra photos, just add them to that catalog in Lightroom or that collection in Lightroom. Once it's synced through to the cloud, you refresh your sync in the Photos app and those new new photos are um, are in your thumbnail strip at the bottom for you to add to your book. So they're the things that I really do like. There's a lot of other, I'm sure there's a lot of other areas around the book that need, or the, the app that can be explored. Um, some people will like some things, others will like others. Uh, a couple of things that frustrated me a tiny bit, and these are uh, little things that, um, I reckon will be addressed pretty quickly um, and they may have even been addressed as I'm as you're reading this or you're watching this this video so the first thing is the couple of times that you saw there that um, I dragged the photo into a placeholder and when I changed pages and went back again it had disappeared I'm not sure if it's because of the size of the image and it just took a while I did give it long enough um, didn't happen that often, but when it did, it was just a little bit frustrating. The other thing that was a tiny little bit annoying was those little warning triangles it took quite a while to disappear. So if it said there was blank pages or blank placeholders on that page, you filled in all the placeholders and it still had a warning triangle. And you're just thinking, is it or isn't it? You know, am I reading it wrong, blah, blah. Again, I reckon that'll be cleared up quite straightforward um, or quite quickly. Um, and occasionally when you placed an image into one of the pages and you had the filter on the thumb strip in unplaced i.e. it should only show you the images that you're not using sometimes those images that you've just placed didn't disappear minor gripes um, at the time of recording this I haven't seen the finished product either that is coming up so make sure you watch that um, 
because that's going to be right after this bit here although in real life it's probably going to be a week down the line um and that's it so i think as a whole i like it it's um i think there's a couple of bugs that once they're ironed out it'll be really easy to use when you think this is all being done through the cloud it's not surprising it's a little bit laggy or a little bit um temperamental so all in all i think it's a pretty good um pretty good system and i'm looking forward i think i'm going to try it again with my i've got a canada um book as well that I, of course that all dip, all this future stuff depends on the actual book itself which is the main reason why so so that's it the book's ordered um i'm sure delivery is going to take quite a while Wow, so here it is, it's been delivered. We are gonna rearrange this camera and we are gonna open it live. Well, not live obviously, but I have not looked at it yet. Let's have a look and see, see what it's like. So I'm gonna turn the camera off, clear some space on the desk and we will open it up. So this is it. Um, it look, it's pretty good, hardcover. Um, I will have a thumb through it now and I will show you some close-ups of it in a couple of minutes. Okay, sorry about that. Um, I just thought I'd put together a silly little montage of um, close-ups of the book's music. I'm not very good at that, but I like doing it. And um, yeah, it's half hour to kill. So what do I think? Well, do you know what? It's not too bad. Um, it was a bit thinner than I thought when I got it. Um, and the page quality is good. This, this um, sort of, cover here at the front is is nice because it protects the first page um, and it's also got the same thing at the back um, but all in all I'm quite happy with it I'm not sure if I missed a trick there to put something down the edge I can't remember if that was an option or not um, but it would have been nice to to have some writing down there so that I can see it when it's on the shelf if I ever want to pull it out but it looks pretty good on a table, you know, it's a nice memory jogger to go back through. So many photos stay on the bloody, um, so many photos stay on the um, computer and you never see them. Um, so it's nice to, to have something you can flick through. And, you know, the picture's a decent size. I don't know if you can see this. The quality is, is pretty decent. I mean, I'm a sort of photographer anyway, certainly not a landscape photographer, but um, I sort of know my way around the camera um, anyway, so I, I have that uh, to my advantage. Let's find some, um, you know, the nice big page spreads that you can get. And it's just nice to have. So all in all, I think that for UK people, perhaps the shipping may be a little bit of a problem. Um, I think the whole book, let me just pause the video here. I'm quickly gonna find out exactly what it cost. Okay, so the book itself was $55, which I guess is about 45 pounds. Um, but the shipping itself was $41. So that may, I know they said they were looking at a better um, or a suitable alternative. It didn't take that long to get to me. I've had the book for a couple of, well, for probably three weeks now, but I didn't get a chance to do this part of the video um, 
before Christmas. Happy New Year, everyone, by the way. Um, and so the whole thing did cost nearly $100, which is probably about, I don't know, £80. But when you consider about 40% of that was shipping, I'm sure for people in America, much better alternative. For the UK, if they can come up with a cheaper shipping option, then I think um, it'll be much more beneficial for, for people in the UK. So that is it. Presto Photo Book using the app Lightroom and Apple Photos. It is pretty good. Um, it's easy to use. You, you, it's worth probably $20 at least just, just to have that ease of using Lightroom and having to export them and import them to another another um, another book builder or upload to a website. You just do it straight from Lightroom. So that is probably worth a lot of time and um, a few pound notes there. So or dollar bills, whichever way you're looking at it. So there we go. Getting your photos off your computer into a book to look at for years to come. Thank you for watching. Um, Stay tuned because we have got lots more sight sounds and um, videos and photos to show you of our travels. Hit that like button if you found this useful. Subscribe to the channel. I'm really looking to get that subscription count up and going to keep improving my content. So thanks for watching. Happy New Year, everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.